right, gang, we are back. Welcome to another News and Events with Caleb Shaw. Golly, the month is just flying by. We are already almost all the way through February, but not just yet. Uh, got some great guests. Really excited to see all the props we got here. This is going to be fun. But right before we get there, I just want to remind everybody, Meet Victoria with Caleb Shaw. The new episode is out, episode three, featuring Pro Escape Room. So check it out. Tune in. It's on IGTV. It's on YouTube. It's on Facebook. Um, yeah, I might even email it to me, email it to you if you ask. So, Caleb Shaw, meet Victoria, check it out. And now, without further ado, first and foremost, thank you for joining me. This one's going to be fun. I am going to perform a full symphony orchestra today, <laughs> uh, a full concert. It's going to be amazing. You guys are going to enjoy it. Um, I'm kidding. I'm going to just make a fool of myself, but it'll be awesome. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you, thank you for coming in. Please introduce yourselves and let the world know who you are. Sure. Uh, my name is Victoria. I am the promotions officer for the Crossroads Community Band. Uh, yeah, board elected, or band elected board member. And, so. you, and you play that fancy Yes, thing, huh? I, I play the French horn. Outstanding. Well, I'm, I'm looking Ooh. forward to getting to this. Hey, you, my friend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick Stangy. I'm the director for the community band. Uh, this is my second year doing it, and um, I play. Per I also play percussion when I don't have to conduct. Um, yeah, I'm uh, part of the Victoria College staff, and uh, part of that is getting to conduct community band. Outstanding. So, what is the community band? I, you know, when I started looking through this, I, I wasn't overly familiar with the group and with the organization. So, who are you guys? Like, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. It is a band made up of the community. <laughs> Yeah, um, okay. greater, well, that's hard to beat that. Yeah, it's uh, the greater Victoria area. I know, obviously, primarily, the majority of our members are from Victoria, but we also have people that drive in from Goliad, uh, Quero, Edna, Ganado, Luis, some folks that do that. Roughly how big are you guys? Uh, we average, the membership fluctuates, uh, but we usually average anywhere from 50, 40 to 50 people who play. Um, and of all ages, all professions, we've had... Uh, we have high school students, we've had as young as middle school students, um, to retirees, to extremely retiree, uh, <laughs> and like I said, several, most of the uh, area music educators play in the group in the evenings to help out with uh, having a more professional approach to it, um, but also just average uh, community members like Victoria. Um, I mean, we have in our program every, every concert, we post the professions and I mean, we have doctors, we've had lawyers, we've had That's cooks, cool. we've had, you know, just just any, anybody and everybody, I think. Uh, Tryout based? No, 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 you just show up and play. We, uh, show up we rehearse instrument. every Tuesday night from 7 to 9 at the Victoria College Band Hall. And basically, if you have an instrument, or even if you don't have an instrument, if I can find one for you, if you want to try <laughs> to learn how to play again, or you used to play, or you have one, you just need to knock the dust off. We accept anybody and everybody. So you haven't heard how talented I am on this yet. No. I mean, I have not revealed no. my skills yet, <laughs> but say a guy like, let, let's assume I, I mean, I'm awesome, but let's assume, let's assume that I'm, I wasn't and I, I showed up and, and you guys are just rocking through a song and you hear me over there just sounding like a dead cat, you know, would, would y'all, hey guy, uh, maybe we'll practice a two to you a little bit before we throw you out there with the band or, you know, I, well, I'm sure there's gotta be some kind of cutoff for guys like me. Well, I'll say that in my experience, I joined the group in 2014. Okay. And that has not happened yet. Good, uh, good. I can say, you know, sometimes, you know, for fun, for a semester or two, I actually didn't play percussion. I played trombone, actually. And uh, I am not very good at it, and I hid in the back and tried to play as, <laughs> as quietly as I could. I think, uh, luckily, most people know, like, ah, if this isn't my moment to shine, they don't shine. Yeah. <laughs> they just kind of hide under the texture. You know, I... I... I was guilty of that. I, I think it was fourth or fifth grade band that I, I thought the trombone looked cool. You know, of all of them, I just thought that one looked cool. And, and so I got it. And it was very quickly that, that I discovered, you know, I, I have no rhythm. I have two left feet. I'm overly white. I, I just, it was terrible. And I was awful at playing trombone. I mean, just awful. And I realized that pretty quickly that some people just can't be taught. I don't think music or, or maybe oh, rhythm per se. Yeah, but anybody can be taught. It, uh, well, we're going to put you to the it. test on that. Okay. But I, uh, uh -oh. <laughs> I tried to fake my way through it, and and I did that. I, you know, just trying to match the guy next to me because he was good. Mm -hmm. And after one semester, I was gone because it was that bad. And so, <laughs> yeah, I I didn't last too long. But you guys have an event coming up this week, and so. 
Tell us a little bit about that, and, and I think it's over at the, the Welder, Welder, Welder Center. Center. I had that down. I still missed yeah. a note on it. But, yeah, tell us about that concert this week. It's our, uh, our first concert of the spring semester. Um, like all of our concerts, it has a whole assortment of types of music. We're really good at marches, so we have some marches. We also have, I have my whole set list right here. <laughs> so when you say for mm -hmm. novices like me, when you say we have a lot of marches, what is, in my mind I go to, because the only relevance I have with that was military when we would, you know, hit the, go out and march and, and stuff yeah. like that and, and Jody's and all that. What a, is that similar or? Exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, so it, it's a different styles like anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to always put a bunch of different styles, tunes on the same concert. And marches is one that community bands from the military background mm -hmm. have always, uh, you know, been part of what they do. And so we always program a march or two on every concert. And like Victoria said, that is actually one of the things the group naturally sounds better at. And so, you know, work less hard, sound better. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. A lot but. of wisdom in that. Yeah. A lot of wisdom in that. And so, and I'm sorry, ma'am, I cut you off. Oh, it's fine. Um, but so that's that's Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the Welder yep. Center, and you got as far as the the marches, and I cut you off. So yeah. I'm talking because I got excited. <laughs> We're also playing a really cool arrangement of Dies Irae from Birdie's Requiem. It's like that dramatic choral piece about like eternal damnation. Yeah. And I wasn't sure how it would sound with community band, like you know, without the giant. Chorus. Yeah. Chorus, yeah, but it sounds pretty cool. So that's fun. And one I'm really excited about, we're playing Somewhere from West Side Story. I love show musicals, tunes. show yeah. tunes. All right. Yeah. And another really awesome piece, probably the big piece of the night, is uh, Symphony Number no. 1, Movement 1, Gandalf. It's based on The Lord of the Rings. It's not the music from the movies, but it has the same sort of aesthetic because it was inspired by the Tolkien books. And it sounds really great, so you should come. The horns have really awesome parts. You, you said movies. It's fun to play. Um, so last year, the year before, I went to the Houston Symphony Orchestra, and, and they had the Superman, or it was a super night or something like that they called it, but it was the music of John Williams and all yes. the different, I mean, it was amazing. Uh, and, yeah. and I was so excited. I'm a Superman fan, as you can tell. Yeah. I got the little cheesy tribal, all of it, you know. But went up there, and they forgot to play the Superman theme song. It was the the oh, show. No. It was like the main deal. They played the Lois Lane song. They played, hmm. and they forgot the Superman theme song. And I was really upset about that. Do you guys ever play that Superman theme song? We haven't. I know we've played some John Williams medleys in the past. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if we specifically played that. I can look for it. You know, we might yeah, have yeah. it. <laughs> I would be very impressed and that that and very appreciative because well, they forgot me the last go around. Uh, yeah. So we have more concerts coming up this semester, so maybe they can we'll slide right in. The there you go, my friend. There you go. Before we move on to these instruments, I kept getting excited over talking to you guys <laughs> on the event. I prop the videographer. He will make us look good. He'll put all the event the the stuff on there. But before we move on, is there anything I forgot that you want to highlight? Mention. I know it's free admission. That's a huge deal. Yep. Tuesday, seven mm -hmm. p.m. The Welder Center. Uh, on the 18th, free admission, free admission. Uh, am I forgetting anything else on that? Thank no, sir. We just we come out. We, we'll, we'll have about 45 minutes of music. Should be done well before 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Good. Pretty, you know, quick and easy. Come in, enjoy, sit down. Um, as always, if there's anybody you want to talk to or anything that strikes your fancy that you see on stage, we're all pretty friendly. You can walk up and talk to us afterwards. Outstanding. Well, I... You might get, you guys just might see me at that one. That sounds like a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, you know, I've really been considering whether I want to join the band or not, and so it's about <laughs> time to, to show off my skills here. So what do we have here in front of us? Talk me through this bad boy. Let's just, I'm going to follow your lead and make sure oh, I don't boy. break anything. Okay. You know, if you see me doing something dumb, get on to me. Okay. Um, but what do we got here? Just walk me through it. Yeah, French horn. French horn. Okay, I'm just going to follow your lead yep. here. And so, don't yeah. drop it. This is, yeah. this is the French horn. It looks very intimidating, okay. but it's not. They're pretty friendly instruments. Okay. Personally, I think they're one of the most beautiful sounding instruments. Oh, there's even a thumb thing right here. Yeah. That's, you that's your little trigger. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, fun little brass instrument with your mouthpiece. All right. In one way that you can start playing if okay. you want to take... I'm we'll just not talented enough start to do both. Okay. Mouthpiece buzzing okay. is one way you can make a sound. Mouthpiece buzzing. Yeah. So basically, you make a sound on a French horn by putting your lips together. Okay. And going. <laughs> just like I, Yeah, just, just like, like that. that. There we go. Yeah. Exactly. I warned you guys 
because I'm a pro. There you I'm go. Sit, it's about to get bad, huh? <laughs> it's about to get bad. The horn will make you sound good. This is what I'm hoping for. They sound good. If so, I sound, Steve, put in a full song right here when I take off, man. Yeah. Make me look good, buddy. <laughs> Make whole, me look good. Whole Mozart concerto. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, so one of the things that makes brass instruments a little more complicated than woodwind is they have different partials. Okay. So with, you know, we don't have a whole lot of keys. We only have, you know, four little buttons mm -hmm. to push here. So when you play, you can play, have one fingering, and there's a whole bunch of notes you can play with one fingering. Okay. So, like with nothing at all, I can go. I can do all of that with one. That was all just with your lips? Yep. Mm -hmm. Watch this. So Give this you a got try. it. <laughs> so yes. you, you kind of start off a little looser and you get a tighter. Yeah, yeah. tighten it up. <laughs> and you need to use more air as you go higher. Exactly. Kind of, sort of. Just right. like that. Right, good. <laughs> he's, all right, he's, working on it, working on it. That's yeah. all I really trying very hard. That was, yeah. it. that was everything. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. So then uh, when you start using your valves, you can play like scales and songs like this. <laughs> can play notes. <laughs> it, this trigger doesn't work, so you just have to use the There you go. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, your veins are popping up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. full of hot air. I thought I'd be a little yeah. better at this, but uh, that is a lot of work. Yeah. So I guess like anything else, like you, for lack of terms, I know you get better at it, but you probably oh, yeah. build up a, a running, I guess. You get l better yeah. lungs. You get... You some, get you, you really need to build up your muscles and your lips. People don't think about lips being a muscle, but when you're playing a brass instrument, it really is, you know, because you need to tighten them up to get the higher notes, you know. You just, you have to have a lot of control over your mouth. Anybody that knows me would over say your I'm mouth. pretty good at running my mouth. I'm, yeah. I'm surprised that I just didn't take off here. Yeah. It's know? a slightly different <laughs> muscle than playing. Yeah. Yeah. Talking, yeah, my, uh, <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. so let's give us a, let's play ourselves out on a cool one here. Should, what a, Show me some little cool trick on the way out or something. What's, what do you want to end trick. the show with? The grand finale here to knock it out of the park. Can you do hot cross buns? I joked about it earlier, yeah. but I, I don't. Uh... Well, I mean, I. Oh, man, that middle one's harder. Oh, wait, let me get my pinky back. There you uh... go. <laughs> oh, wow. You're making Huh. I've taught some sixth that's grade uh, band expecting. before, and it sounds just <laughs> like that. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's about where I left off. You know, that, that sounds about right. That, uh, all right, I will let you. Why don't you hit us? You got, you know, five seconds of a cool tune or ten seconds of a cool tune to play us out. And let, let me give my uh, guys, we'll be right back in a, in, with another guest in a second. Thank you both for joining. Mm -hmm. This is yep. the Crossroads Community Band again, Tuesday the 18th. Free admission at the Welder Center, 7 p.m. Go see them. And she's going to play us out on a... What are you going to yeah. play us out with? I don't know. I don't have, yeah, any, gee, I don't I don't know have anything in my pocket. Hey, I a, can play scales still. <laughs> scales sounds cool. You say scales. Everyone's, you play scales, I'll follow you out. Okay. We got Thanks that. for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you out <laughs> in the next one. All right, to the next sketch. Yeah. Before we get going, one more reminder, Meet Victoria with Cave Shaw, episode three is out. It is playing on IGTV, YouTube, Facebook. Um, that's it for now, but tune in. Episode three is out, Pro Escape Room. So check that out. It was a good time. It was a lot of fun. You need to go out there. Without further ado, got one of my friends here, pretty excited for this. Um, I'm not in shape for it, so it's gonna be brutal, but this is a wonderful <laughs> event that we're getting ready to discuss, and so, Thanks for joining, my friend. If you would introduce yourself to the world and let them know who you are. Yeah, I'm uh, Bud Mendez, and I'm part of the Citizens Medical Center family through the HealthPlex. I'm the membership specialist out there, and we are gearing up for the fourth annual Run Against Cancer uh, coming up this weekend, the 22nd. 
Outstanding. And this isn't a, you know, I know it's in the name for cancer, but this is a pretty big deal that you guys do down there at De Leon Plaza. And, and it, I think we were talking earlier off camera, and you said around 500 people have already signed up or roughly. Yeah, right vicinity. around. Yeah, right around 500 right now. The last time I heard um, last year, we topped out at 719. So we'll get a couple more. That's 100 in the next week or so. That's outstanding. Can you tell me a little bit about the mission of this? Again, I, I, I know cancer. I, I get yeah. that. But, you know, what is the, the role that you guys, you know, with citizens that are that you're really trying to take with this? And, and, you know, just tell me about it, a little bit about how this came to be and the history of it. And I know we're four years in. Yes, yeah, so we are four years in. And the whole goal of this fundraiser is to raise money for our community. So all of the money that this race uh, raises actually goes straight back to Citizens Medical Center, back into the uh, Catherine O'Connor Regional Cancer Care Center. Uh, last year, we got $30,000 raised and right back to Citizens to help benefit the cancer patients, survivors here in our own community. I did not know that it actually stayed here in the local community. Yeah, that's, so all, that's yeah, all the uh, funds raised go straight back to Citizens to help here in our community. That's how I'm saying, you know, because cancer is definitely something that has touched a lot in this community oh, for sure. and hurt a lot in this community and so that's that's outstanding i didn't yeah. know that stayed here and that's 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 great how many this this is a once a year deal it is a once a year, once deal, a year deal, deal every is this, february is this one of several events that you guys do or is this your main one uh no we have a couple of other fundraisers that we do throughout the year uh, in october we have like a bunco night that benefits breast cancer february is our run against cancer um as far as other stuff, we do have a fishing tournament coming up that benefits different areas of the hospital. So this is one of a couple of big major fundraisers that Citizens does throughout the year to, again, benefit the community. Yeah, that's awesome. So for the ones, you know, I know the, the simplest way to con contribute and help would be join the racing. Go that is very true, yeah. Sweat and get out there. But say somebody just doesn't feel like running, or but they still want to help. Could, do you guys need volunteers? Is there? Uh, we do. We do utilize typically about 100 to 150 volunteers because we do have um, someone at 95 percent of the corners that the race goes through the streets of. So um, right now we do. We've kind of hit our max of volunteers, but we do love for people to go down there, even if they're not part of the race, just to cheer on the runners, the survivors, the walkers. Uh, it's a pretty big event, and the more pe folks we now have down there uh, cheering the runners on, the better. Can people make donations? Or, they or, can. Okay. Yep, you can do that at the uh, at the at Citizens Medical Center. You can also do it uh, over at the Healthplex. You can just uh, make a monetary donation that way without necessarily having to sign up for the race. That's awesome. So I know we've got a 5K and a half marathon. The uh, the 5K starts at, or let's, I'll do this backwards. The half marathon starts at 0730 and the 5K is at 0800. For novice people, the difference between a 5K and a, a half marathon. Yeah. Um, I, I know it's self-explanatory, but some people may not have done a race before, and so these terms may stick out a little bit. Too. Yeah, what I know is so. A 5K is 3.1 still? A 5K is 3.1 miles. Gotcha. And the half marathon, marathon is 23.6? Half marathon's 13.1. There you go. So 23.2. Yeah. 26. 26.2. Is the full marathon, yeah. Gotcha. You ever done a full? I have not done a full. I did one one time. My stepdad called me up on a Thursday evening and said, hey, let's do a uh, full marathon on Sunday. No oh, yeah? training. Let's go do it. <laughs> don't do that. I, don't do I, that. I don't think I, I would ever want though. to. We did, though. We went out there, and we did the thing. Now, that day, it happened to rain, and they live out in Mission Valley. And not only did it rain, it thunderstormed and flooded. Oh, no. And we did about the last ten miles in did about the last ten miles in ankle deep water. Don't ever go do a marathon. We got yeah. we finished it, but that was one of the most stupid things I've ever done in my whole life, just going out and doing a marathon. I mean our time was terrible. Yeah. Awful. We we walked <laughs> several miles of it, you know, toward, especially towards the end when the when the rain was bad. But half marathons, that's a lot more of attainable race, you know. It's it still is, 13.1, yeah. but it's up there, but it's doable. And it's it, fun. Yeah. You know, if you are a runner, you know, it, it's nice to mix it up. I used to, when I was more active running, I would bounce back and forth between 5Ks and half and marathons and just yeah. kind of mix it up. And so many fast guys are sometimes in those those 5Ks, you know, <laughs> you, you know but you, you thought you were getting an easier competition in the half marathons, but you usually didn't. It's just a different crew. But is there anything that I've forgotten to bring up that we need to know about this run that... You know, just any talking points that I may have skipped right over? Yeah, so uh, 
online registration is open the rest of this week through Friday. Uh, so you can do that at citizensrunagainstcancer.org. You can also register on active.com. Uh, we'll have packet pickup Friday night, uh, the 21st, from 5 to 8 p.m. over at Citizens Health Flex. Okay. Uh, packet pickup usually starts right at 5 because we do wait for the timing people to get down, and they usually show up right around that time. So a lot of people are usually curious about picking up packets early, but that typically starts right at 5. Okay. Um, we will also have open registration as well as late packet pickup Saturday morning, the morning of the race, downtown at the uh, Leo J. Welder Center for the Performing Arts. Okay. That'll start around 6.30. Uh, packet pickup and registration, and it'll run until about 7.15. Uh, 7.15, we'll start getting ready, lining up the half marathoners and get the show on the road. Outstanding. And all this information is also on your Facebook page? Facebook page, it? yep. So you, we have Run Against Cancer, Facebook, uh, Citizens Medical Center, uh, yeah, it's citizens a couple different pages that host that Yeah, event. we all have uh, access to that event. So any of the citizens pages um, will get you the information you need to know. Outstanding. Well, I, I certainly do appreciate you. Well, show me the medals real quick. Yeah, no. So here. I did bring the finisher medals. This one is the half marathon finisher this year. This thing almost makes you want to go do it. Yeah. I, I like that you guys make the medal worth it. You oh, know, yeah, I, I for gotta, sure. You know, if you're going to do it, it's nice to have a cool one to hang up and, and show off here. Yeah, and so like I said, these are the finisher medals. So everybody that signs up and actually finishes the race, they will get one of these no matter what at the finish line and um, then we do have additional first second third place medals and trophies as well that's awesome and i think you can take your finisher medal and go over to cryo depot show them that and they will give you a discount on cryo treatment that is true soreness out after you after you run a half marathon and you, you should do the half marathon this thing looks awesome yeah this is awesome well my brother i certainly appreciate you coming on is anything on the way out any final reminders that the did I need to get out there or forgot? Uh, I just think that, uh, again, I can't stress enough how important I think it is for even if you're not wanting to participate in the run, just to go down to the square and cheer the survivors, the runners, the walkers on. I feel like that's it's a pretty cool event that happens here in the community. It's very large. Uh, a lot of people have never been down there before, and it's definitely worth checking out once or twice. I, you know, I've, of all the 5Ks and stuff that I've run, I have not run one downtown yet. And, oh, yeah? and I've wanted to. And, and But more than that, you know, I, I want to commend you guys. I think this is, you know, now especially knowing that it all stays here local. Yes, sir. Uh, because sadly, we, we probably both and all, all of us know too many families that suffer from cancer. And, and the ripple effect that that has through families and, and communities. And, and it's just... Cancer sucks. It does. You know, it just yeah. sucks. And so I, I appreciate that you guys are doing this. I commend you on it and, and thank you for it. And it, guys, if you would, if you can't run, if you don't want to run, go out and cheer them on. Yell at them. It does make a difference when you're out there and you're dying and you're hurting and somebody cheers you on. It helps. But more so, you're helping to fight cancer, something that, that we need help fighting. That This battle needs to be won already. It's hurt too many lives. And so uh, thank you again for doing this. Citizens Medical Center, they're... 5K, Run Against Cancer, Half Marathon, Saturday, February 22nd. 5K starts at 8 a.m. Half Marathon starts at 7.30. Thank you so much, and we will see you right after the break. All right, gang, we are back. It is our final guest. Before we go one time, I want to plug one more time. Meet Victoria with Caleb Shaw. Episode 3 is out. Pro Escape Rooms, it's on IGTV, it's on YouTube, it's on Facebook. Check it out. No, Crowd Depot was the first one. This is episode three, Pro Escape Rooms. And now, moving on, we have my friend who is going to fill us in on all things Victoria Livestock Show. I'm very excited for this one, the 74th annual one. So please, young lady, introduce yourself. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Robin Janeka. I am the Marketing and Publicity Chair for the Victoria Livestock Show, and I am so happy to announce this is our 74th year. That's a big deal. So for the novices, for the ones that are been living out in the sticks the whole time and don't know what the Livestock Show is, Sum it up for me. Start at 30,000 feet, start wide, and okay. just bring okay. it all in on this bad boy. Well, basically, this is the big event where all the 4-H and FFA exhibitors bring their animals in for their final judging. You know, okay. they've been raising these steers for almost about a year. They've been raising heifers, sheep, goats, hogs rabbits mm -hmm. and of course poultry and you know their kids are ready their their animals are ready and they're going to get weighed in checked in and judged all during the main events and the main events are february 27th to march 1st gotcha so 
But under that, there under the the umbrella of the livestock show, it's more than just animals. Isn't right. there are, um, the Queen's contest, or did I say that right? Is it yeah. the Queen's contest? Okay, good. There's there's cook-offs and all sorts of different things, Exactly, exactly. So because this event is so big, we have encompassed a lot that the public can do Mm -hmm. and participate with us. So there are some pre-show events. Of course, this past weekend was the parade just to kick everything off. So we really appreciate everyone participating and being part of the parade, seeing that on Main Street. Um, It's a beautiful, beautiful time and lots of fun. And then, um, of course, the carnival. Everyone looks forward to the carnival every year. Mm -hmm. And we've got a new carnival contracted with us, and it's the Pride of Texas shows. So that opens up on the 20th. Okay. And, you know, you'll see when those lights of the big carnival are on, you'll see all the excitement and fun when that kicks off. So that's a... It's a fun time. And I've noticed for, for the adults in there, if they maybe don't want to ride the carnival rides, it looks like you guys have a beer garden entertainment also. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. So the <laughs> beer garden is a big draw. And um, just can't imagine why. Oh, why, my gosh. Why, why you know, so, much, so many beers to sample from the garden. And, um, yes, we've got a lineup. Um, of course, opening ceremonies are the 27th. So okay. everybody's going to kick off, join the fun on the 27th. So that night of the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th, the beer garden is open. And uh, we've got the Texas, the Crossroads Troubadours, DJ Blaze, and then, of course, the karaoke, karaoke finals on Saturday, the 29th. Ooh, should, should we challenge each other in the karaoke finals? Well, you know, you've had to enter that already. <laughs> uh, you know, they're lucky I didn't because that would have been a hands Yeah, you know, we, we might... <laughs> We might not be allowed. We yeah, might be too good. I don't even sound good. good in the shower. Like, I'm that guy. Aww. You know, everybody sounds good in the shower. Not this guy. So, yeah, uh, probably sure. best I avoid the karaoke finals then. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Yeah. So, we got, yeah, let's see. Carnival. What are... What are your favorite events? Oh, wiener dog races. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, okay, so we're going to backtrack. Go okay, back. Yeah, sorry. I, I got yeah, excited. Yeah, we skipped for around. That. We, you okay. got excited with the beer garden. It, it happens. Yeah. Okay, so Saturday the 22nd is our famous wiener dog races. And this is, yes, this is one of my most favorite events of the whole show. The wiener dog races are just, you know, the little wiener dogs with their little legs and how fast they run is they just blow your mind. They are a mighty breed, <laughs> We're a dog family, and so, yeah, oh, they, are, they are a mighty little breed. Yeah, so wiener dog races are there at 2 o'clock um, on the 22nd, and um, you're, there's still time to enter. If you want to go to our website, victorialivestockshow.com, you can look for any entry form that you may be interested in. If you're interested in the barbecue cook-off, the horseshoes and washers tournament, um, the wiener dog races, if you want to enter something in the county fair, which is arts and crafts and baked goods and canning and photography, there's just there really is something for everyone. You don't have to be in 4-H and FFA to participate. And, and so where does all these proceeds, you know, the, the funds raised and all this, does it go back into the livestock show or I'm kind of ignorant to that stuff? Okay, is there are a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of ways to get involved with um, contributing to the exhibitors of the show. Of course, your $5 per person admission goes to our scholarship fund. So okay. when you pull up on the North Street um, admission, you know, you're going to be handing over your $5 per person under five and over 65 is free that five dollars per person goes to our scholarship fund and we give away about 18 scholarships a year then um, on Monday night of the auction all of the top winners and all of the species are auctioned off on Monday night March 2nd and um, individual buyers and businesses come out and support the youth in the auction that night. Gotcha. A hundred percent of those funds that say Shaw Realty wants to come out and buy an animal, a hundred percent of those funds will go back to that exhibitor. So wow. they may invest that in a future project if they're still showing or if they're senior graduating, they may use that as their education fund for a schooling and, you know, scholarships, you know, putting toward their education for the following years. So using that example of if we've sponsored uh, or got one of these animals, 
Do you get the meat off of that, or how does that all work? There are, there are different options okay. of, um, say, that you want, you don't need a bunch of meat, you know? You can resell that animal, mm -hmm. you know, it goes to an auction ring, and you can resell that, and you'll get a price per pound back. Okay. And then um, there's also a means to donate it. Say you want to donate the meat to Christ Kitchen or to a, a local organization that you, you wish to do. Um, there are so many different options, and um, it's just a great way to give back to the kids and the community. Outstanding. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, I could use it. I'm about out of meat and stuff, so that's why I kind it's of was wondering. It's high on that. quality that's meat. That's what I was going to say. That's, that's the good stuff. Yeah. So all of this information is on your Facebook page. It's on the Facebook on page, the Facebook Victoria page. Livestock Show. Is there anything that I got too excited, skipped, walked over that, hey, you you have to know about this one? I mean, I know, basically, you have to know about every single one of oh, these. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. see this, but... Is there, what's your absolute hands down favorite? Oh gosh, you know, it's just a family atmosphere. I've been involved in this since I was a child. Of course, I showed lambs and it, it, just the memories you make that I have to say, just the memories you make with your family and the experience. And if, if you're an exhibitor or if you're just part of the public that wants to see and go out and experience it all, you know, meet and greet with the kids. Ask them questions about their projects. You know, let ask them if you can pet their lamb or, you know, it's just a one-on-one -on -one with the community and it, it's really great to get out and it, for the community and the exhibitors, it's, it's a well-rounded event. If people are unable, say, maybe they're gonna be out of town and they can't make it or something, can they still, donate or contribute or help you guys out in any way? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, on our website, victorialivestockshow.com, if you want to, uh, if you know an exhibitor, say you have a niece or a nephew or a cousin who's showing and you want to add on to that purchase mm -hmm. or you do business with somebody, you want to give some money back to their kid, there's, gonna, there's a form you can download off of the website that you can add on to their purchase of their animal. Oh, wow. So, And it's okay. a minimum of $25 to donate, but but that'll go to the kid as well. Understood. Yeah, Understood. yeah. Well, that's, that's an awesome deal, and I, I commend you guys for doing this. I, I was a judge uh, uh, several weeks ago at the Nueces County uh, Queen, the Queen Pageant, uh -huh. and you know, I we talked a little bit earlier. I was, I like the responsibilities and the accountability that they they learn through this. You know, getting exactly. up and feeding the animals and walking the animals, all yes. that responsibility that comes with it and and the lessons that they take that they can apply later in life and stuff. So I think this is an amazing thing that you guys yeah. are doing. Um, guys, go out and support them again. All the good stuff kicks off. Give them a little quick talking points on our way out the door, please. Yeah, that Queen Victoria pageant, like you were saying, it's, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for these students to be involved, to do their community service, to, you know, as well as being part of the FFA and the 4-H groups. It's a learning process. It's leadership. It's, you know, skills that you know, I acquired that, you know, our future generations are acquiring for, to be future leaders mm -hmm. and we definitely need some good leaders. <laughs> I could not agree more. Yes, ma'am. I could not agree more. And so thank you so much for coming thank in. You. you did a wonderful job. This was great information. Good to know. I'm a fan of your brother. I like him. Good guy. <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Caleb Shaw, News and Events. Again, tune in to me, Victoria, with Caleb Shaw. And we will see you next week. Shaw Realty, Homes for Heroes. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.